guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be unboxing the Arteza watercolour metallic paints. Oops, so let's, let's get them out. Here they are. Zoom in for you. Now I decided to get these because I don't have any metallic watercolours so I wanted to try them out Ooh. What's this? Why is that there? So yep, yeah, comes in this nice little box with all the colours on the back and I don't know what this is it's weird it looks like, it feels like paint something <laughs> anyway, and it comes with a little brush ooh, look at this Let's open the paints. So we, oh, this looks like a little swatch card. So obviously it's going to be good on black paper, and they also provided a white piece of paper. So that's really good because I'm actually going to swatch them on here. So I've always got them as reference. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so I've figured it out. These little metal tag things here, you just pull them open like this. Which is why I couldn't get the paint. <laughs> See, there you go. Easy. Now, can we take this off so we can see? Now, hopefully you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to tell with the white, but I'll go through and I'll open them all, so you can see the shininess of them. Oh dear. Look at that one. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but they're very metallic. Right, I'll just go through, open them all, and I'll come back to you once I've done it. Okay, so 500 hours later, <laughs> I have unwrapped them all. Now, that was a nightmare <laughs> to do. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. But if we um, zoom in and have a look at these, very, very, very metallic, and I'm excited to try them out because, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't own any metallic watercolours. So I'm just going to fill this up with water, and what we'll do is we'll get swatching on these little cards. So I'll be right back. So here's the result of swatching them on the black paper. 
These ones came out a bit strange, but that might be because I used too much water. <laughs> but we'll obviously do a comparison because now I'm going to swatch them on the white paper. But I think so far the plum purple is my favourite so far. And I kind of like the, the iridescent green too. So yeah, I think we should move on to the white piece of paper and do a comparison. Okay, so here are the results. Whoops. <laughs> Here are the results of the little paper swatches on the white one. So you can definitely tell that they are metallic, but they're not quite as metallic as the ones on the black paper. So I definitely do think that the metallic watercolours are for black paper. As you can see they're so much more metallic, I guess. Um, they just look kind of washed out on the white paper. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little illustration in my sketchbook and see how they turn out like, I guess. But yeah. I actually have an idea of an illustration that I want to do. My camera will focus. <laughs> so, I think we will start by taping the edges. The page. Now I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we'll see. Let's <laughs> make sure they're all stuck down. Cut. Thank you. 
Okay, so here's a finished, oops, <laughs> I've done it again. Here's a finished illustration. Now, I do think that these paints are much better suited to black paper instead of white. I did try and go over the paper as you saw in the beginning with black to see if it would bring them out but it's not it's not that dark so yeah well I'm gonna say that's it for this video if you did enjoy it please leave a like comment below what you think or if you've got these paints um, share with your friends and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time with another video okay Bye.